everyone. Today we are taking you through the carnivore waffle recipe 2.0. So we're going to show you three different variations to prepare the batter and then some final assembly options. So this is a perfect snack to take on the go or for carnivore diet meal prepping. So we have filmed this video in the past, but we are presenting some more creative ideas to use this carnivore waffle recipe. Yes. So let's get cooking. All right, the ingredients are super simple. We've got local pastured eggs, pastured raised lamb, and we source this from a local farm, but if you do not have a local farmer, we suggest sourcing your ground lamb from white oak pastures. Then we've got some ghee. You can also use butter or tallow here. And then last, Redmond Real Salt. And the only equipment you need is a food scale, which is optional. You could just eyeball the amounts. A small bowl, a teaspoon measurement or half teaspoon, also optional, can't eyeball a spoon, a small blender, and then a waffle maker. Here we're using a small one that is in the shape of a pumpkin. Because why not? But if you are going to be making a lot of these, I would recommend a larger waffle maker. All right, so we're gonna show the amounts for a single serving. The ratio of the ground meat to eggs is super important. So for a single serving, we're gonna be using four ounces of ground lamb and three pastured eggs. So if you wanted to meal prep this, you would just double. So do eight ounces of ground lamb, six eggs, or you could go keep going up. Or less, you could do like two eggs with the appropriate amount less of lamb. Do your math, do your ratios. <laughs> consistency that we're looking for and we use ground lamb because it has kind of a neutral taste so it works well for a waffle but we've heard that other people have used ground beef and it has worked as well so you're gonna preheat your waffle maker and then we're gonna add a little bit of ghee like I said you can use butter or some tallow just make sure that you kind of spread it around now we're gonna add some of the batter and the amount will depend on the size of your waffle maker of course Other side actually looks like a waffle. Yeah, but look at that consistency. All right, so to make this a cheesy, savory goodness, I'm gonna add the standard amount of batter, and then before closing it, cheese on top, crisp up this side. Beautiful, cheesy goodness. Looks like a pizza. Next variation, we are gonna try to create a crispy shell on the top with some crushed pork rinds. So here we're using epic pork rinds. So again, let's put our standard batter on the bottom. For the pork rind waffle, we kept it in significantly longer than the other ones and that allows the pork rinds to really crisp up and create more of a crispy texture on this side. So it's kind of like a shell on this side. Necessary step, break off a little piece and feed to your dogs. They're at a boy. Final product, the four ounces of meat and three eggs made this many mini waffles, but we have it in three versions, so the three base versions. So we've got the original waffle. All of those. We've got crispy pork rinds on top, and then we've got crispy cheese on top. Pizza. Now we're gonna share some fun ideas for assembly of the final waffle. First up, the sauce. The sauce. So waffles typically have syrup on them, so we've made a little carnivore version of syrup, which is just going to be butter, 
and a little bit of honey so it's a one-to-one -one ratio so we have about one teaspoon of honey and one teaspoon of butter and then another sweet sauce. sweet sauce is going to be just butter plus a little bit of glycine powder mixed in and glycine has a natural sweet taste to it so the glycine option would be best if you want to completely avoid carbs and adding some honey would just add in just a little bit of carbs into the roast. So now we're going to melt these and pour them on the waffle. Beautiful. Money shots. The money shots. And now here we have the melted butter that we burnt a little bit. Adds a nice little flavor. We're going to add a sixteenth of a teaspoon of the glycine. So this guy is at one eighth of a teaspoon, so we're adding a sixteenth of a teaspoon. Mix that together. Beautiful. Here is the final assembly ideas using the different variations of the waffle batter. So we've got two savory and two sweet. This is the glycine and butter on top of the crispy pork rind waffle base. And guys, this kind of looks like a Panera bagel, like brown sugar, crispy shell goodness. And then we've got the honey and butter on one. And then over here, we've just got some ground beef cooked into a burger and an over easy egg on top of the cheese crisp waffle batter. Gus is feeling this. We're going to build the ultimate sandwich. So take over easy egg, plop that on top of the burger patty, the cheesy waffles, stack that on top, and it's time for the money shot. some a texture of these bad boys. So these are the originals. And if you tear into them, very similar to an overall waffle. So this is really a major key for someone who misses that like spongy, bready taste, you know, and texture on the carnivore diet. So let's give it a shot. Delicious. Okay, so you can't deny that it's still meat but you can put other things on it like the syrup or the pork rinds to create a little bit of a different texture and taste i think it's fantastic oh the cheese oh yeah it's wonderful i mean you can't get away from the fact that it is a meat waffle but yeah it's a great way to use ground meat if you're getting sick of just eating burger patties so we're going to wrap this video up thanks for hanging out with us today stay tuned for future recipes and our cookbook coming out with dr paul saladino which will be coming out in the next couple of months but until then behave like an angel